Yes, you want to know the seven monsters of the meta after these last set of balance changes. Well, we're going to be going over that in today's video. And I got to say, everybody, this meta that we're currently in is really, really awesome. It's a lot different from the last meta with the Sandies running around like crazy. So make sure to stay tuned. We got pro takes on the seven best brawlers inside of all of Brawl Stars right now. So let's get straight away into it. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so the pro player that we have on in today's video is none other than Jigsaw. I'm sure you guys have heard of him by now. He's a very regular pro player here on the Brawl Star Raid channel, and he's going to be guiding us in today's video with his top seven best brawlers in the meta right now. Now, just give a little bit of credence. He's been really competitive in this season, not so much on ladder, but in power play and things along those lines. As, um, as you all know, with power play, you have to be caught up with the current meta. What's the best of the best, especially if you want to compete on that list? I feel like a few days ago he was number one in the world um, on the power play ranking so he definitely knows what he's talking about so why don't we hop straight away into number seven so the seventh best brawler in the meta right now goes to our girl Nita and no surprise there I feel like Nita is always like top 10 best brawlers no matter how many nerfs comes her way and it's because of her consistent mechanics her mechanics are insanely balanced and really really good she has really fast reload speed which gives her in turn really good DPS she has moderately pretty decent health um she has somewhat good range but better on when there's like a good amount of walls on the maps but generally she can play decently on almost every single game mode inside the game which is why she's landing at that number seven spot now we're not just going to be spectating jigsaw in today's video we're going to be playing with them so let's get it all right guys so heading straight away into our very first match and i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty freaking excited to go toe to toe with some of these guys and play with a pro player you guys haven't seen gameplay from me in a while um actually playing some competitive so we'll see if we'll be able to hold our ground here um normally when i'm just kind of playing casually which i i feel like i have been um i play with just brawlers that i enjoy playing and colt is one of them so we're gonna be rocking colt here don't underestimate a colt dps there mortis i'll get you eventually okay so it looks like we're gonna try to push it up the left side we are succumbing here i'm gonna try to use my super to really clear things out a bit can we take down the nita okay it doesn't look like it Kind of a failed super, not going to lie. It looks like it's going to be the early first goal for the enemy team. I want to start using my super so I can open up the middle parts. Let's just stay in the left lane here. I can really pick on the Nita. Okay. We're going up against a white crow. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Okay. I'm not sure what the Mortis was doing there. Let's really just try to stay alive and be the firepower in the back lane. And guys, try not to botch my... or. Uh, talk crap about my gameplay too much. I'm really, really rusty right now, but I do want to get back into it as soon as I can. Let's open up these walls here. Take out the crow as well. Nice. Kick it in. Let's go. Okay, I like that left lane. Let's stay in the left lane so we can pick on the Nita. Looks like she has bear though. I'm going to take that out as quick as possible. Okay, so Mortis is going to use his super to take us out. Crow is hopping in with super. I don't know if we're going to be able to score it off that, but we do have super lined up on our end as well. The enemy team is probably all still alive. Okay, I'm just trying to deter that mortis there. Okay, doing fine, doing fine. All right, let's go left. Let's go left. The bear's still alive. The enemy team also has bear, though. Okay, they're all lining up. Okay, we're doing good damage to the Mortis. Guys, I'm all synced in. Guys, I'm trying my best here. I got to pick up a win. We got to pick up a win. Come on, first game. First game jitters. All right, we should win the long range game if we line up our shots correctly. Okay, I don't want to shoot at the mortis here, but I'm going to grab the ball. I right, take out the Nita. Take out the bear. Probably should have passed it right to the Nita there. All right, I wanted to avoid that mortis super. 
All right, that annoying poke damage from the crow. Let's see if we can heal up a little bit. We only got 20 seconds left. If we end on a tie, honestly, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, here we go. No! Oh, I was so close! I botted that out so hard! But oh well, guys. That was a fun game. Let's head into Best Brawler number six. <laughs> what a god. What? Okay, everybody. So heading into our sixth Best Brawler in the meta right now. And that's going to be going to my boy, Barley. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory. He's a very, very stable brawler. Multiple different team comps. Uh, multiple different game modes. I feel like that's kind of the main credentials that you need to be a good brawler in the meta is. Are you relevant on multiple different game modes? And especially the newest game mode, Graveyard chipped he's a threat in there now um jigsaw has a really really high barley in the 1000s so i'm gonna be rocking barley for this one um probably gonna be going into gem grab so let's do it okay everybody so time for our second match and i'm gonna be rocking barley like i said before barley's really really good on this gem grab match which is why we are playing him here so mortis is definitely going to be here but we do have the um healing star power on so we'll see he's not gonna be able to three hit us all right, let's start peppering out in the middle. Get a little chip damage. Once we get one super down, we'll be good to go. Okay, Jigsaw is rocking Daryl. We're going to switch sides. Good on his part. I probably should have saw that, what he was doing right off the get-go. Okay, I'm going to toss it out so it kind of goes in the middle and to the left. So maybe we could have got a little bit of something off that. Can we get the Nita? Nice. Now let's hammer this Gene. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We're controlling our lane. Okay, setting things up. Jigsaw going in. Nicely done. Though Mortis does have really, really good mobility, so he can just pick up the gems. But now he can't play as aggro, which is really, really good. Just keep him back. Okay. It's up to Penny there. Okay, so we really got to pressure this Mortis because he's just going to keep coming in. All right, so Gene has super. All right, tossing down my super just straight up in the middle. Just keep them back. Nice job, Jigsaw going in. Mortis is trapped. Just going to try to keep the pressure on that Nita so she can't do anything. Okay, so while they're busy with them, I'm going to do my best to just kind of keep these guys back. Oh, he's going for me. Okay, so we took out the Mortis, and I think we're in good standing here. The Nita does have super, but we, we can take her out fairly easily. Okay, Morris is going to try to come in here. Did a little bit of damage to him. And there we go. That's another dub. Let's keep this ball rolling. I should say another dub. We tied in the first game. <laughs> but guys, heading into number five. Let's go. Okay, guys, so our fifth best brawler in the meta right now is none other than Daryl, a very surprising pick coming from Jigsaw, but I would have to agree, I find him being played more on Siege, and as you guys just saw in this last uh, game, Jigsaw did fairly well with Daryl running around as the aggro and gem grab. He's really, really good at Brawl Ball, always been a staple there, so he's kind of bumping up in relevancy in a couple different game modes, and he's very, very good on Heist as well, if you rock the Rolling Reload, um, newly um, changed star power buff to the star power so we're gonna watch him once again with daryl in this next game so here we go okay everybody heading into our next match um with daryl outlining him in brawl ball i'm gonna be rocking colt once again feeling kind of comfortable with him and we'll see what we can do and i bought it out i feel like with him in the last match we weren't really lining up good clips on on the brawls that we were going up against um, we have a shield bb which is not good she could really really cause a big distraction with colt um, so here we go Ooh, that's looking juicy. Let's go. Okay, BB coming in. Not sure where the Colt or the. Okay, so uh, I was gonna say not sure where the Poco is, but he was right on top of us. He killed us. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's line back up and just start clipping people. I want to get my super and just obliterate the map. It would be a bad thing for Tick on our team, but I don't think it'll be that big a deal. Okay, going down, dude. BB just going in. Like a storm, taking both of us out. And Jigsaw's the only one left to defend. Let's 
Okay, will that give us enough time to spawn in? We'll see, we'll see. Oh, it's just tech, dang it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Guys, getting away with that with, by the skin of our teeth. Let's get back, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna rip up this map so we can dominate with Colt here. Okay, nice. Okay, let's just hold our ground in the mid. Okay, taking all the Poco. Jigsaw left by himself, but Tick should be spawning in here. They've definitely been pressuring us much more successfully than we have. Okay, good job. Now let's go. Okay, picking up the ball. We're just going to open up this map. Nicely done. Jigsaw going in. That should be a goal. Let's go. First goal of the game. 15 seconds left. We just got to hold it down. Let's go. Holding it down. Holding it down. We are good to go. That's a victory. Let's go, guys. We did it. Okay, heading into our next one. Okay, everyone, heading into our fourth best brawler in Brawl Stars right now, and that's going to be going to Sandy. In the last meta, Sandy was our number one best brawler by far, but she did get, he did get, I always think it's a girl. I don't know why. It's a big problem that I have, uh, but he is still decently well, even though he did just get a nerf in the last set of balance changes. He's still very, very good in the meta. You can't underestimate invisibility. The invisibility mechanic is so, so good, and especially the radius. You can give it to your, your actual teammates. So that's very, very good in game modes like Brawl Ball and Gem Grab. So we're going to be hopping into Gem Grab, or I should say Brawl Ball once again, and see how Jigsaw can do with Sandy. Here we go. Okay, guys, so heading into our match with Sandy, we were going to hop into Brawl Ball, but I thought we would just switch it up. We've been kind of switching back and forth in between Brawl Ball and Gem Grab, and I uh, feel a lot more comfortable in Gem Grab, as you all know. Still a work in progress on uh, trying to get good at Brawl Ball. So here we go. All right, so looks like Tara's their mid. We don't necessarily have a gem carry. It's kind of weird. All right, so the dynamite taken out. Okay, taking out the um, Jean there. Or I mean, uh, <laughs> Jean, what the heck? Dynamite. Okay, here we go. We can pull in because Shelly's really, really close to us. Okay, so big tip with Gene, if they're that close, just use auto aim. Nicely done. Dynamite hitting us once there. Just trying to help out a little bit because Jigsaw does have a lot of our gems up there. What? Where's my auto aim? Oh my goodness, what the heck? Auto aim fails us. Okay, so we got countdown. Doing fine, doing fine. Keep these guys back. Nice. Taking out the Tara. Okay, nicely done, guys. Sorry for the lack of commentation uh, sometimes in there when I'm dialed in. <laughs> Your boy Rage tried to pull out some dubs. <laughs> Okay, guys, so rounding the corner to our third best brawler in the meta right now, and that's going to be Rosa, guys. Rosa, still freaking broken, always been top 10. I feel like she hasn't moved off that list since she's been introduced into the game. Just her mechanics fundamentally are broken to the T. Really good in basically every single game mode. You could probably get away with playing her in Showdown, all the solo game modes. You get away with it in all circumstances. So we're going to try out Gem Grab once again. I'm going to try out Penny as the mid this time around. So wish us luck. Here we go. We found our match, and we're up against the Pam. I love playing against Pam in the mid. Man, this honestly has to be one of my favorite gem grab maps. It's so much freaking fun. You can get away with playing Mortis here. The mids are really, really fun. They're kind of different than what you would normally see. Pams are played here, stuff like that. Pennies as a primary gem carry that you can play here. It's really, really fun. Um, so here we go. We're off to a pretty good start. All of us are alive, though we're kind of getting low. We're getting chipped down here. Okay, and then Carl is like the aggro of their team, so. Okay, we gotta get back. We are getting close to our mortar, though, so that's a good thing. 
Okay, so we're pressured back, but once we get mortar, hopefully that changes things. We do have our second star power with our mortar here. So we should be fine. They're pressuring on honestly a little bit too much. They're gonna get blasted. Okay. Alright, let's heal up. We're doing just fine. All right. All right, looks like our mortar hit the Pam there. And we're gearing back up. Let's keep that um, Carl damaged. He's probably gonna be blitzing in with his super at any second now. Okay. All right, dialed in, everyone. Dialed in. Okay, drop it down super. All right, there we go. We got countdown. And another gem shouldn't spawn in unless we all stay alive. Or unless one of us dies here. Hopefully, Jigsaw doesn't step past. Go too far there. Okay. All right, here we go. Nicely done. That's another victory. Another, that was really, really close, though. Heading into our next one. Next on the list is our second best brawler in all of Brawl Stars, and that's going to be going to, surprisingly, Carl, guys. I feel like Carl is one of those resonant sleepers as well in the meta. You remember when he was one of the three monsters when he was first released? It was, I believe, um, Gene, Rosa, and Carl. Like, a un like overwhelmingly super, super powerful. And Carl is still that good. I feel like he still has those powerful mechanics that people kind of underestimate. Really good DPS really really good health really good mobility and OP second star power he like fits the bill he's a really really good brawler multiple different game modes he fits inside of um, and we're gonna be rocking him on gem grab I should say jigsaw is and I think we're gonna continue with the mid game um, but I want to switch up the brawler switch it up make it a little bit different um, maybe Piper let's see how it goes Okay, guys, so we found our match, and like I said before, I'm going to be rocking Piper. This is kind of a wild card pick, but you can get away with Piper on this map, so we'll see how it works. Okay, pop and Gene twice. All right, so we don't have snappy sniping on or anything like that, so we got to take full advantage of our first star power here. Okay, and as you can see, the pressure that um, Gene, prov I should say Carl provides is absolutely insane. So let's really dial in here. Let's be a good mid. Let's support our boys with a couple pop shots here. Okay. Ooh, that didn't kill him. Nicely done, Jigsaw. Okay, we do have a super just in case the Mortis comes in on us. But we are pretty susceptible to a Mortis. I'm not going to give up my super just yet. We don't need it quite yet. Don't be too over antsy about it. Nice, dodging that shot. All right, let's back off. We got to preserve as much health as we can here. All right, I'm not sure where the bow is. All right, we're doing fine, doing fine. All right, let's get back up. Let's try and go into the bushes. Okay. Oh, we almost got the gene there. Almost clipped him. We kind of want to take out the gene. Nice, dude, predicted. Nicely done. Very easy game. Piper worked out. That's what I'm talking about, guys. So the time you've all been waiting for, the number one best brawler in the meta right now. And it may surprise you. Here we go. So our number one best brawler in the meta right now goes to, surprisingly, Spike, guys. Spike is still a terror in the meta. Yes, he got a nerfed curveball. But you know what? That's just a star power. Uh, the first star power is still insanely good. Fertilizer has always been like resident sleeper star power. Everyone used curveball because the chip damage was pretty OP. But if you are a super skilled spike player and you are decently well at lining up your spike shots um, with the fixed pattern that these spike shots ricochet in, you're still just as good at with your poke damage. As well as on top of that, you have fertilize. You can heal yourself up. He's still insanely good. Really, really good burst potential. Really, really good range and just overall good control based brawler spike still a terror let's hop into it okay guys so heading into our final match now this is kind of a wild card because we're all at like a thousand matchmaking gene is using his ace 
Jigsaw's at 900 trophies with Spike, and I'm going to be using my best brawler, which is Mortis, of course. So let's see what we can do. We're up against a um, Sandy in our lane. Okay, taking them out. Let's go. We got two gems, which it's not really safe with us. So it's not like that crazy good of a thing. So we're going down. Honestly, it's fine. And it's not good that Jigsaw has it either. So we got a Coiled Snake. Let's see if we can go in. We're just going to keep pressuring on the bow. Taking out the bow. Sandy is going to be going down for the enemy team. Taking out the Mortis. Let's see what we can do here. We're doing very, very well. Let's wait for our Coiled Snake. Good pull. Now we don't want to be too aggressive. We only have two gems, but we want to get to that timer as fast as possible. Sandy does have super... Okay, we got Countdown. We don't want to group up. Because that Mortis can just destroy us. We don't want to leave Spike alone either. Okay, so they reset the timer, but it's because of that Sandy Sandstorm. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, taking out Sandy. Sandy does have Sandstorm again. We're close to our super, though. Let's see what happens. They're coming back. Okay, nicely done. Okay, we got the 10 gems. And I think we should be able to win off this one. We got the best mobility, so it's best in our hands at this situation here. Never good to have it when you're trying to control mid in a regular gem grab standoff. Okay, there we go. Victory on the last one. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Okay, everybody. So that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and found it somewhat useful. Top seven best brawlers in all of Brawl Stars. Do you agree with the list? Like I said before, whenever we do these top fives, top sevens, whatever tier lists here on the channel, it's at more of a competitive stance. So... Whenever you're at a, maybe a little bit lower in trophies or wherever trophies that you're at currently inside Brawl Stars, it might be different for you there. But again, I would love to hear your opinions down in the comments down below. I like the discussion around these videos. It's really, really nice. Um, but if you did enjoy the video, make sure to slap a like on it. really appreciate that. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Be part of the Brave fam. We would truly love to have you. So with that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars. And we will see you in the next video. Peace out.